much for joining me today for this review. I hope that all is awesome and you are having a fantastic day. I have here today for review two Barbie fashionistas and these are from the um, newest release. These dolls supposedly were not supposed to come out um, for purchase until 2019 but somehow Walmart.com has some of these fashionistas online. So guys, if you were looking for the new fashionistas, look no more. Walmart.com has some of them available. Um, they're the same price as you would pay if you, the old Walmart prices. Some of them were like nine something and some of them were like seven. Not sure why that's the case, but even so. That's still not a bad price because that's usually what Amazon sells them for when they first get them in. The prices are always like $9.99. But I ended up taking number 106 out of her box because her box came kind of banged up. And I wanted to see if she was okay because if she wasn't, I was going to end up returning her. But she seems to be okay. I mean, I'm going to throw this box away anyway so I don't have to go through all the hassle of returning her. So we will be reviewing her first. But I wanted to show you guys um, which ones are available at Walmart.com. Now, I ordered this beauty right here. She's number 110. She is available, and I ordered her. And I think she was like nine. She was one of the ones that were $9. But she wasn't ready for pickup when I got these two, but she is available now. And then this adorable one here next to her, 109. 107. She's number 107. She sold out. Now, I don't know if she's back in stock, but apparently she's going to be the popular one um, out of all of them because she was sold out when I last checked. I ordered this handsome guy from Amazon.com, so he is available at Amazon as well. She's not available at Walmart.com. This adorable one right here is, and she is. She's not, and then, you know, I have her up for review. She's not available. But she is, and I'm going to review her as well. So they've got quite a few of the girls available um, on their site. I don't know how they in the world they beat Walmart, um, beat Amazon, because Amazon is usually the first ones to get these dolls in, and Walmart got them first. And I am so glad. I mean, I'm just so happy, and I'm so excited about it. But this is number 106, and she's quite beautiful. I fell in love with her adorable face, which is why I just had to have her. I love that beautiful smile on her, and I just like everything about her. I love her hair. She did have box hair, so I have missed her hair a little bit with water. So her hair is a little damp, and I'm hoping once it dries, you know, it, it goes to the style it returns to the style that I want. She was Her hair was even wild in the box. So, you know, I hate that I ended up taking her out of the box before you guys could see her. But I was just so anxious to see if I was going to have to reorder her. But here she is, and she's absolutely stunning. She has beautiful brown eyes. And then she has this beautiful, long, dark brown soft silky hair and it's all one length and then of course it is parted down the middle and I like the middle part there on her I really like it and then she's wearing these um, large pink chandelier like earrings and I just love it and then of course she has the one bent arm and one straight arm and I really like her dress I think her dress is adorable um, I love the um, floral print in it and all the different colors. I love the way that it is made. I love it. And then, of course, it Velcros in the, around the neck. 
and then the back and then her back is out and I really like it like I said I really like the style of this dress and I really like the fabric it's like this stretchy fabric and then you can't really see it on the doll stand but the waist has a, an adorable little ruffle around it. I like the little details that they have put on her little dress. I really, really like it. She really looks stunning in this dress. And then they paired it back with a pair of um, heels. Like, why, um, these are wide, like to me, um, platform heels. And they're like a periwinkle, like blue. And I think they look really, really cute back with her ensemble and she is a fabulous doll and I am so glad I got her now we know that Barbie Mateo stopped giving the body types but she is of the regular body type um, and she is fabulous 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 and I'm so glad that I was able to pick her up she is quite stunning okay and then here we have one of my favorites she this one here number 111 was one of my favorites when i first saw her face mold and her hairstyle i just knew she was going to be one of the ones that i was going to hunt for and you guys just don't know how excited i was when i found out walmart had these dolls and that they had her she is just gorgeous but this is what she looks like in her packaging and you guys know what the box looks like in the back just gives you a um a picture of the fashionistas that are in this collection and again this is number 111 so let's go ahead and get this fabulous girl out of the box and get her up for review so that we can take a closer up look of her I was so excited about them not having these ugly sticky ties in these dolls' heads, but I guess it's certain dolls that they do that with and certain ones they don't. Because these fashion these new fashionistas are back to the sticky ties, of course. Okay, she's got one more. Yep, there we go. Alright, so let's get her out of the box. Alright. So here she is, all fabulous. And this face mold, I have some dolls with this face mold, and I really like this face mold. This is one of my favorites, and I really, really like it. Now, let's take a look at this beauty. Now, look at that face. Now, her eyes are, they look like they might be hazel. I really, I really, you know, my eyes are not as good as they used to be, even with my glasses. But her eyes look like they might be hazel, and they're just beautiful. And I love her hairstyle. I love her haircut. She has the part here on the side, and I just love her haircut. I really love it. Let me um mist her hair a little bit with some water, guys, so I can get that static out of there. I mean, because when you're a diva, you got to be a diva. All right, so there we go. She's got a little few strands that need to be um, cut and even, but I'll take care of that later. But this is what her hair looks like in the back. And I really, really love the color. It's like a blonde, and it's just gorgeous. I just love this doll i love her haircut i love the hairstyle and i love that face mold and look at her i just love it i just love it and then she's wearing this um black choker necklace so that's going to be her accessory and then her dress has the look of two pieces now i thought the entire time until just now that this was going to be a top and a skirt but it is not it is one piece Oh gosh, no it's not. I'm, I stand corrected. It is so smooth in, in the front that it looks like one piece. But it's not. It is two pieces. Great, because this is this will be wonderful for mix and match. Okay, so she has two separates. This is two separates. Okay, go, Mateo. All right, so she, her tank says love across the front. I really like it. And as you can see, it does Velcro in the back. And then I love this skirt that she's wearing. I love the style of it. I love the color of it. I love everything about this ensemble. And I just love it. I love love how it's made and i love the feel of these outfits they seem to be pretty decent quality pretty decent quality 
So the skirt does not have Velcro in the back. The skirt is going to be an elastic waist skirt. And it looks gorgeous on her. And even though they don't say it, she is of the curvy body type. And she is wearing that skirt. And then she's wearing the um, black um, short heels. And, you know, these are a very common pair of shoes that the dolls wear. I have so many pairs of these black shoes. But I do think these shoes look great with her ensemble. I think that they look absolutely perfect with her outfit so let me see if i can get this doll on the stand and she just looks so adorable i really really like her i love her she is one of my favorites in this new fashionista line and let me give her a little spin so that you guys can check her out in a full view and she just she's just gorgeous girlfriend like i said is rocking this outfit that skirt is just so gorgeous on her and again her whole everything about her is what drew me to her i was just drawn to her because of her ensemble her hair color and that face mold of course guys i hope that you enjoyed this review of fashionista 106 and 111 I will be doing a review um, pretty soon on number 110 um, I'm gonna pick her up tomorrow and I'll be getting that review up on her guys let me know in the comments below what your opinion is on the new fashionistas are you going to be collecting any of these girls or are you gonna just let it ride are you are you over the fashionistas what let me know i want to hear your feedback i look forward to it so again don't forget comment like and subscribe don't forget to check me out on instagram because i will be posting pictures of these two gorgeous fashionistas guys again thanks for watching continue living and loving life and embracing the moments and being fabulous and fantastic and i will see you in my next review